It's Thursday. Let's get in to the news. Okay, okay, welcome back. So, first off, let's go over what Elena said on Twitter earlier this week. I think this was around the time the release came out, uh, Friday for Nolgath's birthday. Uh, the Spear of Nolgath was removed from uh, Bamboozle vs. Dredgen Quest. Dual Spears were added, so they added a dual version of the single version of the Spear. They had it just for people with Craig and Bamboozle uh, to the... yeah. To the quests, both spears now have unstable damage range. That's good. Uh, most Nogath weapons do. And the most important part is Craig and Bamboozle, Dredgen, Bounty Hunter Blade, and Drone Pets can no longer be sold. So there's a 5,000 AC pet that is member only that can't be sold. That's a thing in Adventure Quest Worlds now. Okay. Now, I couldn't find any information nothing at all on tomorrow's release uh it's a day away it's actually less than 24 hours away and they haven't said a single word so either it's a secret might have something to do with these blades that Bido has right here they look badass uh nolgath themed of course and they could be coming out tomorrow it might be a continuation on last week's event would be my guess for the release uh but we don't know uh hopefully it's something cool though Bido is also working on some carnival sets that I missed a week or two ago. Here they are. I like the Schwartz version better for them. And uh, yeah, uh, these will probably be appearing next month, I would guess. Is there... Yeah, carnival begins on the 11th of February. So that would be next month. Uh, these might be armors you're seeing in the near future. All right, so here are my news. Brand new Nalgav and Dage War prints are going to be on Hero Mart very soon. Uh, there's also going to be shirts, uh, kind of like how they did the uh, the painted uh, like Arctic and Dage shirts, uh, like those two ones. Except it's going to be uh, Sepulcher and Nalgav. I know I say that wrong. Uh, there's se Sepulcher, something like that. I don't know. Uh, and Nalgav. So these are the new prints. These look like posters. They look very large. I have a I have two prints uh, from Hero Mart, and they're pretty big. These look a lot bigger. They look, well, maybe they're the same size, but uh, tall instead of horizontal, they're vertical. Uh, I don't know, but if you look at the box, it could be a big box. You know, you can't really tell. Uh, there's nothing really to compare them. There's two boxes side by side. They lo it looks like a decently sized box, so they could be pretty big posters. And uh, I don't think we know what items these are going to come with. They might just come with Hero Points, which is the saddest Thing. Hero points are the saddest reward for an, uh, buying a Hero Mart item I've ever seen. It's just laughably sad how it is. Uh, I, I bought a Dage for Snowgath now on Mousepad to come up with a few Hero points. It's just, they're not worth it. I think I have uh, quite a few Hero points, but not enough for the class. Like, and unless you have enough for the class, there's no point to Hero points. Um, the shirts are going to come with uh, these items for Adventure Quest Worlds. An AQ3D Blade uh, for the a sepulture shirt and the Nolgath armor shirt is going to come with an AQ3D blade and a AQW armor and sword right there. So pretty cool. I thought this was going to be like a farming reward or something, but I guess they're putting it on the shirt instead. Now, if you compare this to the Ardix and Dage shirts, I don't think the rewards are as good in my personal opinion. Uh, but you know, everyone has their own opinions. That is mine if you wanted my opinion on that topic. Plus, if you bought both of them, you got a class. Uh, we don't know yet if you buy both of these, if you get something. What if you got, like, a, a mixture of these two in a class? That would be badass, but we don't know yet, and that is not announced. Apparently, this is going to be out tomorrow or sometime this weekend. So, uh, we can see the, what the badges look like for the prints and for the uh, both shirts. Now, prints normally don't have badges associated with them. Uh, I bought a few prints, like I said, and I didn't get any badges, so these could have in-game items, although we don't know. If this was the AQ3D item, uh, because we know, I think, okay, so this is probably an AQ3D item for the Dage one, and this one's probably for the Nolgath one, of course, but uh, we don't know that yet for sure. I don't know if that's confirmed, but it's pretty, pretty much confirmed that that's what that's going to be. But we don't know what the AQW items would be. If they're going to include AQW items with the prints, uh, we'll have to find out. But it's pretty cool. I'm probably honestly going to get the... Uh, 
Oh, no, I closed one. Ah, I closed the tab. But we're, I'm probably going to get the Dage one. I think it looks really cool. I don't think the, uh, the Nogath one's got a weight. Like, they added a bunch of spikes. You're spiky enough already, okay? <laughs> There's so many spikes in your armor. It's not practical. Uh, I, I get that he's like a monster, but okay. Uh, Z's been working on some new art. Looks pretty nice. He also tweeted out a bunch of sets he's finished and haven't been released. And he also asked Asuka if this could go into the game. Hopefully this goes with it, because it looks badass. So we could be seeing some stuff from Z coming into the game shortly. Oh yeah, I forgot. The art prints. We know what the AQW stuff is going to be. So this is for the uh, the Nolgath one. You get these, uh, the armor, the helmet and armor are from the suggestion shop. And yeah, that, that's from the new print, if you buy the Nolgath print. Uh, there's also a, one second, I'll find it. Oh yeah, it's right here. Elena has on our Twitter. I'm I'm blind. Okay, yeah. So, uh, you get the cape with the you know, a cape and a sword. If you buy the Dage one and the Nolgath print, gets you these hands. So, pretty cool. I think the uh, Nolgath one's pretty nice. Hopefully, you get the Blade Nikki 3D too, and that would be a really good reward for buying that from Hero Mart. Danielle PP2 is also working on some carnival themed stuff. Uh, Elena retweeted this, so usually when that happens, it gets put into the game. It's happened before in the past a lot, and if what if Elena retweeting things means it's going to be coming to the game, stay tuned because you're going to be pretty excited. All right, so LAE made this set a long time ago. He added me on the tweet, which I appreciate because my Notifications of Twitter have been going wild since he tweeted this out. Uh, it's been on Twitter for a while, and it's probably one of the best detailed, like, sets I've ever seen. Like, the amount of detail in it, or just how the detail is used. It's not over-detailed, uh, but the shine and the reflection. You can't really tell this image is kind of low-res on Twitter, because Twitter, like, pixelates all the images and compresses them and all that stuff. Uh, but uh, it looks really nice if you see an uncompressed version of it. And this was retweeted by Elena on Elena's account, not on the artist's account. They have an artist account uh, that they retweet a bunch of, that's official and retweets a bunch of like the fan art for AQ. It's also retweeted on here. But Elena actually retweeted it. So this could be coming out. It would make sense to come out if we look in January, or in February, I mean. There is a Yokai New Year. That it would be fitting for a Yokai New Year to have this in the game. So we could see this in the future. Nothing is confirmed, of course, purely speculation, but I hope to see it soon. Another great artist, Furo, uh, finished up a rework of one of his older sets, and it's a Legion one, of course. We do have Deja's birthday coming up in March. Uh, this would be a cool, like, small farming reward for that. Looks really nice. And I love, I love Furrow's hair. Really great hair. Styles, always. So, there that is. Alright, Kulong is taking a step down for a little while. Uh, in case you don't see much art from him uh, for the next few months. Thank you to everyone who stuck with me until I got where I am now. So, Kulong's taking a break really sad uh hopefully we see him back soon uh but yeah artists do this all the time z took a break you know sometimes you gotta take a break it makes sense uh doing stuff uh creative stuff is uh i imagine pretty draining all the time so yeah taking a break is pretty normal for people that do a lot of art so moving on let's not end the news video on a somber note ghost tweeted out two different Things that would be coming up for Hero Heart Day. Uh, we have this little tiger, a really cute looking tiger. Uh, I think this is a smaller version of a yeah, the Fireborn Tiger Pet. This is definitely a smaller version of that, and a little fox. So I don't know what's gonna, what kind of event we're gonna have for Hero Heart Day. Uh, Elena's been talking about it a little bit on Twitter too. Nothing to note, but. It looks like we're gonna have a very adorable Hero Heart Day this year. Thank you guys for watching. We have one more little bit of news and I'll be out of your hair. All right, so last is Honorable Hero. There's the badge on the character page for 2017 that is there. Uh, there's no shop in game. It's supposed to come with a sword instead of ACs this year. Wait, I wonder if they gave, 
I, I don't know what how many ACs I had before, so I don't know if I got, like, 500 extra. I actually might have. Did I? I... Okay, no, I don't think so. I don't think I did. I, I can't really tell if I'm being honest. But, um... I don't keep track of how many ACs I have most of the time. Uh, there's no uh, shop for a sword in game, but the badge is on the character page, which means the store or the shop for the sword will probably come tomorrow uh, with the event that we have know nothing about. So thank you guys for watching this news video. We'll be back here next Thursday for the news, and we'll be streaming whatever events coming out tomorrow on this channel. So make sure you tune in for that. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you guys all in the next one is one last one last thing elena also had a fairy tale inspired armor on her character page looks pretty awesome it's in the game now i don't know if they'll ever release it but maybe we'll see thanks for watching again follow me on twitter peace